previously on Future Development Company. We found the ruins of the mother, the only character that doesn't appear on this title screen. And also, we discovered another thing that hasn't appeared on us yet. Stage 5. The aliens have had enough with us. They are angry. Why? We've been digging up ruins, having concerts, and launching space Buddhas and robots into space. And all without their planning council's approval. The bureaucrats are out in force, in the danger zone. This mission takes a turn away from everything else we learned in this game. It's more of an action and puzzle stage than an actual simulator. That's because having tech and a whole lot of buildings is not as important as other things. Yes, you're supposed to stay here. If I have to stay here, so do you. You're coming down with me. I gotta stop right-clicking. Let's get a little information from Opico first. We're gonna need high-performance stuff. But not every building is going to be needed. We need maximum efficiency. What else? We're gonna need some weaponry, because aliens are going to be coming at us constantly. And usually in twos and threes, and they take three shots. But they're gonna drop a lot of money. Alright. She's done talking. It's time to build. We're gonna fight these aliens the only way Future Development Company knows how to chase off aliens. The power of corporations. And guns. Guns kinda help us here. Most things you need right now, factories, and guns, and personnel. So if you have any people left over, fill an intel station with them. Alright, I don't have enough people for a gun. I need to hire more people. If I don't have a ton of people in my HQ, I'm doing something wrong. Like, probably not shooting enough aliens and getting blown up by them. You see that? He blew up my thing! I didn't even have a chance to click on him to scare him away. And what I need is a lot more intel. I need to see those guys coming. But I'm getting a heap of money. Check that out. I'm already in the thousands. I'm going to be waiting on Nara Murbot. Alright. I got... These factories are pretty much enough to get me through this entire level. These factories right here. Probably another one over here. But it's not about building in this stage. As I said before, it's about action. You're going to have to deal with these UFOs for the most part. But there's another special trick. You see these things in the corners? You got one up here, over here, it looks like a helipad. And over here, these things that kind of look like La Milana symbols. They're going to be very important soon. Let's just build a lab for the heck of it. And a ton of intel. Why I like having intel. I enjoy intel. I also enjoy having lots and lots of people, so that helps too. These guys will give us a good early warning on these aliens that are coming down. See that? We got a good, what was that, 8 second warning? Just about. And here's a trick that I told you before, that you can't shoot back at aliens. Actually, I like to paralyze them because as long as you're clicking on them, they won't go away. Only blow them up or fill the bar. So sometimes you'd like to fill the bar like halfway and then shoot them with another cannon. So they just stick around long enough. And also, I... That no, no lab there. Gun battery there. I'll build a lab somewhere else, but a gun battery must be there to guard my buildings. As long as these aliens don't obsess over my guns, I'll be able to shoot most of them. That's what I call an early warning system. As you can see, our HQ is kind of up here where it can't possibly be defended, but the aliens kind of leave it alone for the most part. But we got a giant UFO! That's a big UFO. I'm a little scared. Oh, Pico, help me! I'm only the figurehead! I don't make important decisions! It's a bigger version of the regular UFO, so it has a big version of their weakness. Well, the regular UFOs are weak against cannonballs. Do we have anything bigger than a cannonball? Let's take a look at our build list. Oh hey, check this out! Stuff from the other stages. Let's try this rocket missile out. If these alien ships get to the middle of this stage, they blow up everything. So work fast when you know the solution. And make sure you hit fight before you click on the rocket launcher.
Yeah, we showed that alien who's boss. With the rockets, we used to launch the Great Buddha Tower. Thank you, Buddha Tower. Thank you for lending us your Buddha rockets. They came in handy. Now, we could just leave that there. Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? We don't even get money back, I don't think. And plus, I saw we do not have enough people. Fill up that HQ. You saw what happened in the last video. It was almost impossible to attack this thing when I had tons of people in it. And that is early warning. Every time you fight one of these big UFOs, you're gonna have to fight a bunch of these small UFOs right after. They always come in threes. Luckily, they're easy to fight off right up there. And let's get our tech on. I would like to see rocket batteries here. This is pretty much all you really need. Except for maybe, you know, fueling your special buildings. And I really wish I had something that would shoot up there, but it requires technology, which I really don't have a lot of. And also, I'm thinking that Intel actually uses up some money, too, but it's so darn useful. Four Intel stations. Tons of hiring. Look at that. I'll buy all these people. Thank you. Thank you for all those people. Look at that. Two clicks and they go away. Another giant UFO. This one's different. It looks like a Star Wars battleship. Imperial battleship. It has a powerful force field. Our weapons will have no effect on it. So do we have something that doesn't use projectiles? Uh, we could throw intel at it. Yeah, that's a great idea. Actually, the only thing that doesn't have weapons around here is my Raider H. But I don't have enough money for it until right now. In fact, get rid of that. Get rid of this. Tech is abolished until I get enough money to fuel this station. The my Raider H station. All right, get you the hot bullets of robot to die. All right, let's suplex this thing into outer space. Ah! Thank you, my Rider H. I knew we built you for a reason, especially without weapons. But he had to. He had to go away. He did an Iron Giant thing and self-destructed himself. We'll never see my Rider H again. So sad. We'll leave that as a memory. We'll build a monument to you. My writer H. And also, I got into a money crisis because I hired way too many people, so let's build another factory station. Heck, I got the people to do so. I really hate the, the swarm that comes as soon as there's a big attack. I can't even shoot him! Arg, I need a new gun! I need better gun. I need bigger gun. If you have a problem, use bigger gun. Use more factory. That helps too. Alright, run into cannonballs. I don't have rockets to throw at you yet. Why don't I have rockets to throw at you yet? Why did you tech labs go away? Because I told you to. That's stupid. Don't listen to me unless I tell you what to do. I'm the president! That next UFO should be coming along any time now. And I got stuff to throw at it. I don't know. I have I have a mother and I have concerts. And supercomputer labs. Maybe I could throw tech at this guy and he blows up. Oh, this guy is even different. He looks fancy. Unknown tech. It's the Mark X edition. We don't know anything about it. Oh, we are so very dead. Ah. Uh, what can we use? You'll be tempted to use the stadium, that's the third level, but the right answer is the mysterious ruins. So build it up, and fire the mother at him! What'll she do? Materno lasers! The only way to take care of aliens! Ah, thank you, mother. But she destroyed herself, too. She led by example from my writer H. But they're smashed to bits now. We can't even sell them for a profit. There's not even a power of life in here. 
That's ridiculous. That must have been the aunt or something. That wasn't really the mother at all. We got supercomputers, so we might as well tech up a little bit. I got the money to do so. You know what? Tech is dead to me now. I got rocket batteries and a whole bunch of aliens. I don't like attack UFOs. Especially when they attack so quickly. Sometimes you might get lucky and there will be two clicks that superimpose each other and you shoot them while you're chasing them away. Yeah, I don't need automated factories. That's a waste of money. What's not a waste of money? Gun batteries. Rocket batteries, actually. That was a bad idea. I sure really should have built something first. The rockets don't shoot as fast, but at least it takes two shots now. It's the final UFO! What's weird about this one? We only got one weapon left. What's this weakness? If we beat it, they're annihilated, but I think we're out of stuff. I don't see how it's gonna help either, but any port in a storm. Luckily, we got an energy plant upgrade. Or, no, we did not. So we need two energy plants to fuel the stadium. And we're gonna need a pipeline, too. I just have to wait for the people to rush in there and stock it up. Powered up! Give them the power of concert! I can't stand this music! It's in my head! Get it out! Ah! We brought down the UFO with the power of song! Our company theme was just annoying enough. We did it! We beat all the aliens! The galaxy is forever safe, and we can become Future Development Corporation instead of just company. It's time to spread throughout the universe. Let's go see a concert. I hope it's not our company theme again. That would drive me nuts. It's not our company theme, right? We finished a mission. We're done. Let the credits roll. This has been Future Development Company. Mirai! Oh, it's gonna be our song, isn't it? Oh, Pico, please don't sing! Thank you, Nagoro, for this weird Flash game. I don't know if they're actually singing Japanese or just gibberish Japanese. But these guys are more like the chipmunks of the Japanese people. Of course, the big three, or at least two of the big three, were responsible for this game. Like Naramura, Samiro, and that guy, Osei. Whatever his name is. Yay! Triumphant music! We even have the aunt joining us. And my writer, H's ghost! And that is Steam. You will ignore that. Yeah, I thought nobody would be awake, but apparently someone proved me wrong. I'm going to have to ignore him now. I'll find a way to mute him or something. We're trying to enjoy music over here, Steam. Take that, aliens! The power of Buddha from space! Ah, uh, QA section! They thought this game was so ridiculous. Actually, someone actually commissioned Nagoro to make this game, and then I don't know what happened, but Nagoro made it anyway. I'm glad they did. I don't know what that is all about, but I'm glad it's here. Thank you for that. Thank you for that tech lab. I hope I see you next time for some more videos. Good night, folks.